Hey you guys, this is a small bookstore. Yeah, normally we're building houses or castles, but I thought maybe let's, you know, let's give some attention to stores. I know there's a lot of people playing on realms that want to make diamonds, maybe selling some mending books or, or other enchanting books. And I think this design really works very well for that. So I thought I'd show it off um, and maybe show you guys how to build this so you can get some diamonds in your bank. Now let's take a look at the items we're going to need for this build. Um, we're going to do a lot with wood. So we need these oak planks and some stripped oak logs, some normal oak logs. And we're also going to use some spruce in there for detailing. Um, also a barrel. Just, just make sure you get some barrels. And the looms as well. We're going to have a cool trick with that in the end. The, roof, or the floor is going to be made out of stone. So we're going to do a mix of different stone to give it like, you know, a, a bit of a medieval feel. And the rest of the stuff in this chest is basically just here for decoration. So all of this, the books, of course, um, you may not be surprised by that because, like I said, it's a, it's a bookstore. So yeah, we're going to have books. And uh, this is all you need. It's very easy to come by. Everyone watching this video sure knows where to get all of these things. So I think it's about time we start building this thing. I got a 9 by 7 uh, block box mapped out here. Um, make sure you at least have this space, but it's also going to be sticking out at some point. So just do the smart thing and give yourself a little more space than I got mapped out here for you. Um, now for the blocks, go five up with your oak logs and do that on all the corners. So one, two, three, four, five. And also on that one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is cross beam all of these pillars to each other like this. Do it all the way. And then the last one in the front. There you go. That's the skeleton of the build. And we're going to fill out these walls. Three of these walls with oak planks. Uh, once we got this filled out. We're also going to texture it a little bit. With the stripped oak log. But I'll show you guys in a second. So just fill this one out. Grab your stripped oak logs. Randomly remove a few planks. And just throw your stripped oak log in there. Like that. And that should be good. Now the back, back uh, wall can also be filled up. Oak planks. Same thing all the way and grab your stripped oak log and get texturing like that i like it and the last wall because we're not going to fill up the front wall so just just this one and that's okay oak planks all the way and the last one stripped oak logs not like that but like that there you go texture it all the way boom boom uh, not like that maybe that yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I like that. Now for the next thing, you're going to go all around the base. And around the pillars, just place an oak log facing upwards. All the way around. And in the front. Like that. On top of these, we're going to place some spruce stairs. So, boom. Boom. And you're going to go all the way around, placing those spruce stairs. Again. And the last two. There you go. And this is the base of the base of the build. Next, we're going to be working on the roof. So first thing you want to do is pop these logs out by two. So the oak logs, because that's going to be the overhang for kind of the front of the store. The next thing is we're going to outline the roof with spruce, starting with spruce stairs all along the sides. On both sides, pop it out by one uh, at the back at the front. You could just uh, take it up all the way like that. Next, we're going to do some spruce slabs to do the front. Just like that, we're going up by one every time. That's the top. And take it down by one. Like that. Now also do this same thing at the back. Like this. Boom, boom. Um, how do we do this? Yeah, like this. Go up by one, up by one, up by one. And we're going back down by one. Like this. One in the corner. That's the outline for the roof. And we're going to fill all of this up with oak slabs. Very simple. Oak slabs all along the way. Boom. And now, of course, we do the other side as well. But first, in the middle, we're going to do one more string of spruce slabs uh, for the top of the roof. And then finish it off with oak slabs. Fill it all the way up. Like 
like that. Boom, easy. Now, what I like to do at the front of these of these logs, just slap spruce buttons on there. Just give it that finished look, give it that cool look, and that's already the roof. Now, next we're gonna be working on the floor. Like I said, I'm using stone, cobblestone, stone bricks, and of the stone bricks, I'm using both the cracked one and the normal one. So just knock out all of this grass. You're not gonna need it anymore. Boom, 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 boom. And take it up all the way up out like the overhang. So you can go as far as this, fill these up, doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just fill it up with stone first and then I'll texture it later with the other types of stone that I brought. Fill it all the way up. Stone all the way. And now it's time to texture. So the cobblestone, knock it out randomly, place some cobblestone like that maybe some over there now i also have some cracked stone bricks just slap them in there at random spots and normal stone bricks to finish it off boom that looks nice that looks old uh, it looks like people have walked on it and that's exactly what we want also i want to do a little old path leading up to the build so i'm using mossy for that mossy cobblestone and also mossy stone brick so just make a, a winding path up to this this can go as far as you want but i'm just going to do it for the build just to show off how i do it and some stone brick mossy as well just randomly place it doesn't have to fill it up you don't have to fill it up all the way just leave some gaps and place these uh, maybe like that yeah yeah i think that looks nice so now we have a path and we have the floor all figured out. So next we're going to be working on the front desk and we're also going to do a lot more detailing on the roof because that still looks a little bland. So you can knock these out, put in some spruce logs, then you do upside down spruce stairs. And here in the corner we put one barrel, maybe you could put some diamonds or books in there. And then we attach some slabs to that, not like that, there you go. Two slabs and then two trap doors, that's kind of the entrance. I'll show you, you can knock these down and walk in. I like that, put them back up. Now we're also gonna do some detailing along the roof. Uh, so an upside down spruce stair and a spruce tap door, same thing here. And we're gonna do this all the way around. So you're gonna make a circle around the building and fix this upside down stair, spruce tap door, upside down stair, spruce trap door. And the same thing here. The thing here though, uh, it doesn't look as great because there's a slab here, so you can knock that one out and put in some spruce planks same there knock one slab out spruce planks upside down stair spruce trap door uh, same thing here and the last one boom and now we're gonna go along the roof place some trap doors as well so do one in the corner one on the other side of the stair and one in the front and you can skip one skip one skip one and then next to the stairs we do trap doors again and here we're gonna do a little bit a, a little cool trick Gonna place some trap doors with some space in between and then some stairs upside down wait they need to be one lower there you go that looks nice from the back a little more detail and once again trap door trap door skip one trap door skip one trap door skip one trap door and we're gonna do the last two over here and that really gives the build a lot more flavor i think it looks way nicer with this detailing and i think we really have something going on right now we also have to really work on the interior, so let's maybe... Hello? Hello, excuse me? Okay, guys, I need to just take care of something real quick. Don't, uh, don't worry about it, I'll fix this. Uh, don't even worry about it. I'll be right back, let me just... Real quick. I'll see you guys in a minute, okay? Okay, so let's do some work on the interior now. The first thing you're going to want to do is place these bookshelves on top of the beam. I think it really makes it look like the books are stacked up to the roof. You got to fill this up though with spruce slabs and oak slabs. But then it really looks pretty cool in my opinion. Next thing you can do is make a cross beam. So three on each side. No, you need the oak slab there. And you go like that. One slab, one slab. And a spruce slab up top. And then you can make kind of a cool lamp. Hang a lantern on that. Remove these two. I just place hold of those blocks right there. And that looks much better. The next thing you can do is fill the back wall all the way with bookshelves. 
So you can go and do this all the way. Boom. That's nice. And I'm going to place a lantern in that corner because I think it needs it for the light level. Otherwise, you're going to have zombies buying your books. You don't want that. The first shelf is too high. Skip one. This one is three high. And then one that is four high. Just like that. And the whole thing that makes this look cool is because the back, one are the back ones are higher. So you kind of look into it and it has a, a lot of detail to it. Uh, I'm placing some lanterns and some cool flowers to give it some, some flavor. Uh, maybe we can hang something nice there. And I'm also going to put one over there and a lectern in this corner. It's starting to look like something. I'm also going to put two item frames here for the cool sign that I have in mind. Let's take some stuff out to put in those item frames. So some book and quill, some feathers, enchanted books, and a sign maybe. So let's put a sign there. Let, let's give it a, a name. Rainfall books. And what do I sell? Enchanted books and uh, feathers and some paper. Cool. That looks nice. And then to give that some attention, maybe a book and quill and an enchanted book next to it. So you want to look at it. Book and quill on there. Feather on there so it looks like someone has been writing. And maybe a book in here. Or an enchanted one. Yeah, that looks nice, I think. Now a cool trick you can also do... Oh wait, I need some flowers. Flower here. And maybe also another lantern. So I can see what I'm writing. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, a cool trick you can do with these bookshelves. Because it looks kind of bland. Is when you grab the loom. And you turn the loom around. Look, loom from the back looks like an empty bookshelf. So I'll remove that and get a few of those in there. Make sure you do it from the back. So you look at the loom from this side. And just place a few in there. I think it looks nice. Let's see. Yeah, that really, really makes it look much better. You can also do this with barrels. Uh, I didn't bring a barrel. Let me just grab a barrel real quick. You can also do a few barrels in there. Yeah, that's nice. Just randomly knock out some bookshelves and place some barrels. You can also do this in the back. Uh, maybe one there. Yeah, I think that looks, that's cool. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's really nice. Maybe we can also put the windows in right now. I had the window over here. Uh, knock out two. Maybe knock out three. Yeah, three like that. And then grab some oak stairs. Grab your oak stairs. Like, no. Gotta do that from the outside. Yeah, there you go. That looks nice. Eh. Maybe we can do it even higher. Yeah, let's do it one higher. Boom. So you have a too high window. Yeah, that looks nice. I like the red because it has like a magical feel to it. But you can do whatever color you want, really. Boom. Boom. And then two stained glass and i think this looks super cool we're really getting there now all we have to do is exterior now for the exterior this is going to be very simple i just want to place some things around it but first i want to place a letter on these bookshelves in the back it's like the letter you can stand on at the library that that like rolls along the books i really like that i think it looks cool let's see how that looks maybe we can see yeah that's cool i like that now for the exterior, we're just going to place some empty bookshelves. Like I said, the loom in this case is an empty bookshelf. Yeah, some, maybe some over there. One more. Eh, two more. Yeah, like that. That looks like empty bookshelves. And also I'm going to add some campfires that I'm then going to put out. So it just looks like there's some extra wood stacked up outside the build. Yeah, I think that looks cool. On the other side, I'm just going to do some barrels. Uh, everyone needs barrels for storage, I guess. Uh, maybe like that. And one in front of that. Yeah, that's nice. It's simple. Now all that's left to do... Uh, yeah, I like that. All that's left to do is now to put some grass around it. You don't have to do this, but I just like how it looks. So let's put some grass in random spots. Give it some life. Give it some nature. Knock that out. We don't need that anymore. And that is the build, guys. It's finished. I hope you like it. I think it looks really cool. I think it looks magical. Look at that. 
My little store. Look at that. Rainfall books. Come get your books, people. And that is it. It looks really cool. If you like this build, make sure to subscribe. Because I'm going to be uploading builds like this in the coming days. Uh, so thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.